Hey everybody, this is Aaron Jolly back with Rainier Arms. I hope you guys had a good Memorial Day. I uh, spent some time with family. I know we had the opportunity to go out, have some fun with the new Pulse Fire. So today we've got a quick video for you guys to go over the exothermic Pulse Fire. Now, just playing with it in general, I had a ton of fun with it. It definitely is one of those, you gotta be careful. Uh, almost burnt the cameraman a couple times. So Exothermic started out in 2019 and they've really kind of taken the market by storm when it comes to flamethrowers. The reason why it's very user friendly. A lot of other flamethrowers, you have to light a pilot light up front in order to kind of get everything going and then your battery primes your fuel pump basically. With this, however, everything is electronic so you've got your conductors up on the front that's going to be an electrical charge that arcs between them which actually is what sets that gasoline on fire you don't have to just run gasoline in here you could do a 50 50 mix of diesel and gasoline it's going to allow you to keep things on fire that you want to burn a little bit better too so if you're going to use this for say brush clearing or you know getting fire areas set up kind of burn out some vegetation that's going to be your setup you want to maybe do a 50 50. i will tell you guys with the little tank that this thing has on it you get some fun you get some time for fun but it doesn't last very long it goes pretty quick they do however have the ability to take this tank off and actually get a full-on backpack that you can now strap onto your back and you can run whatever you want for as long as you want. Now, when it comes to loading gasoline into this little tank, we didn't have a funnel. Uh, I would recommend that would probably be beneficial for you, uh, especially if you have a really full gas tank or something like that. Whenever you screw this off, this is pretty far down to get down in there. Make sure if you can throw a funnel on there, it'll make it a lot easier for you. As far as the battery goes, to get the battery uh, in and out, you just unscrew this little cap right here. This comes right off. You can set this battery in, go ahead and plug it in, set it in, and then you go ahead and put that cap back on. When you put the cap on, you do wanna make sure that you hook that front end, and then you're gonna lay it down before you screw that screw in. And then once that's done, it's literally as simple as flip the switch to power on, Flip this back switch. This is kind of your safety mechanism is the best way to put it. So if you can't hit that button, you can't send gasoline out. Flip that switch up and then there's a little button right here at the top. You'll go ahead and hit that button. And at that point, just make sure whenever you hit that button, whatever's in front of you is something you wanna burn, right? A lot of firearms rules come into play when messing with these. Make sure that it's pointed in a safe direction. Be, be aware of what's behind it in front of it, all that kind of jazz. So uh, obviously take, take into consideration that this is a you know, 35, 40 foot flame coming out of the end of this thing, uh, even more so depending on what fuel you're gonna use. So it, it can get pretty, uh, pretty out of hand pretty quick. So the Pulse Fire comes in uh, right at like 670 bucks. It's an awesome little tool uh, that you can use both for lighting that campfire, get that bonfire ready to go for the, for the weekend, or if you just have some land that you wanna maintain. So I know this has been a nice short little video for you guys talking about our exothermic pulse fire. We'll see you next week.